One of the questions I get asked the most at the shop is, how do I know when it's time to update my shoes? When do I know when a shoe is truly dead or when should I retire them to officially kick down the line to yard shoes? Game over. It's kind of a tough question. You know, we sort of have this generic number in head of, we think you should get 350 to 500 miles out of a pair of trainers. And that's a really tough question. That's a pretty broad range of miles to get out of a pair of shoes. Not to mention, talking about a racing shoe versus a trail shoe where the miles really change a lot there too. But on just your everyday cushioned, neutral or stable trainer, you wanna get 350 to 500 miles. So what does that mean and how do I know? It's kind of up to the eye of the beholder. There really isn't a great method of like holding a shoe up like a, like a seashell at the beach of like, I think it's got a little bit of life into it. Here's the best way that I can sort of articulate it and how maybe you might be able to tell for yourself if it's time. There isn't a great push down rebound method, but for me personally, my body a lot of times will dictate it. So what you have to think about with a running shoe is inside each running shoe is almost like a little squishy, soft Nerf football, right? So think about that Nerf football and when you're running, you step down and it contracts and it expands when you left your foot up. So it's constantly sort of doing this, it's breathing, right? And over time, it takes a little bit longer for that to kind of expand back out. You're stepping down and that bounce back is just taking a little bit longer. And maybe instead of taking like a foot step, maybe now it's taking a whole day to come back out. Just like yourself, when you're running a lot of miles, it takes longer for you to sort of recover and recharge after your runs. Your shoes are the same thing. So as they get tired, it takes longer for them to come out. So that dead feeling is really inside the shoe and it's hard to tell with the naked eye, which is why I might have somebody come in here who does nothing but treadmill running and they'll say, look, my shoe looks so nice on the outside, I, but I feel like I'm dead legged. I don't feel like I'm getting that same energy back because the outsole's in great condition because it's not pounding the pavement or hitting gravel or any other things that will eat up the outsole to the shoe. But inside is now dead and flat. So that's one of the reasons why we talk about rotating a second pair of shoes in. If you're getting shoes, it's a nice idea when you can do it to get two different pairs of shoes to rotate between the two. Not just because it's nice to change it up a little bit, but it gives that shoe an extra couple days to recharge and expand out and that'll give more life. So let's just say we said 400 miles. If you had a pair of shoes that was 400 miles and you got another pair of shoes that was 400 miles of life expectancy, it's really closer to like maybe 50 miles more. Maybe now these two shoes that would have been 400 each are closer to 450 each because you're not wearing them every day or every other day. Maybe you're only wearing it every three or four days because you have another shoe in the rotation to take off some of the weight. You know, when you think when you're running, it's two and a half times your body weight crashing down on the shoe. So it takes a beating on the inside, more so than you'd expect looking from the outsole to the inside. It's really getting it flat and compressed. So you have to think about that by giving it a longer chance to recharge, you'll give your chance an opportunity to extend the life of your shoes. So going back to the, the original question, how do I know when my shoes are dead? It's really tough. For me, it's my body. I know when my back starts bugging me again, it's time to recharge my shoes. If I'm looking at the shoe and I say, look, I can already see down into the midsole of the shoe. I can literally see through the rubber of that shoe. It's time to go ahead and change that shoe out. But if you're somebody who's an inside runner, if you're somebody who's just doing casual walking into it, it might be a little bit harder. A fun exercise I have people do when they come in here and they say, I can't quite tell if my shoes are dead. A lot of times, much like hydration and running, if you wait till you're thirsty, you've gone too long. If you're at the point where you feel like the shoes are dead, there's probably a good chance they're dead. So if somebody walks in wearing like a pair of Brooks Ghosts and they say, I can't tell if this shoe is dead, I just don't know. What I'll do is I'll just pull them another Brooks Ghost in the same model that they're wearing and say, put a brand new one on and put your other one on and walk around a little bit or hop on my treadmill and see. You'll be shocked to see how much different a shoe feels new versus one that's got even like 200 miles on it. So it's a fun comparison to say, can you feel how dead that shoe is now compared to a fresh life shoe of the exact same model? And if you can see like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm running on a shoe that feels so flat and dead underfoot, it's a really nice time to upgrade and to upgrade your shoe to something better or different or just fresh underfoot because you'll give yourself that much better of a running experience, protection underfoot, responsiveness, and stability in the shoe that you'd be missing otherwise. I hope that helps answer that question. If you have any questions on dead shoes or any other shoe related stuff, feel free to leave it down below. We'll try to get back to you as fast as we can. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. If you found this helpful and informative, like and subscribe, we certainly would appreciate it. Hey, remember, adventure is out there as long as you've got the right shoes.